If you are fortunate enough to not have any fucking idea what's happening on Reddit right now, uh, Twitter last a couple months ago rolled out changes to their API. This was one of the first things that Elon Musk did. Um, there are a huge ecosystem of third-party apps that use Twitter and its API to function. And uh, Elon Musk has made it so that you have to pay a lot of money to use it. You have to pay like 10 cents per query, which used to be free. There were like some caps on how often you could use the API, but there were like thousands of requests a day as opposed to paying per per call. So now uh, it's extremely expensive. A lot of third-party apps on Twitter have shut down. However, Elon Musk has cited something interesting. He said that the Twitter API has basically been misused by other gigantic tech companies to pull all sorts of data off of Twitter and use that to uh, build machine learning and uh, otherwise like compile in intrusive profiles on users and shit that uh that use twitter so his rationale i guess is solid even though it fucked up a lot of people however reddit's motives are probably even less genuine than than twitter's um if you don't know if you ever try to access reddit on mobile and mobile users are probably i think 60 percent or more of the the market now like almost the majority of people use a mobile device to to browse the internet uh majority of i'll rephrase that because people a lot of people use both but there is an increasing number of people who don't have a computer who just use mobile apps and 60 percent or more of all web traffic is done over mobile so it's a huge audience and um when you install an application you give it permission to read things about your device and uh, give it more personal information. It's just a nice boon to have uh, when you have access to that much uh, data. And it helps with uh, circumventing bans. If, you, if a, de a device can tell you its unique ID through um, you know, special APIs on the, the phone, so it helps with dealing with alt accounts and shit, and it, it basically just gives reddit information about your marketing uh, profile that is useful to its advertisers which is the most important thing that it has when it gets on your phone so if you ever tried to browse reddit um on your phone you will be prompted to download the app and if you try to browse any board which is marked not safe for work which includes a lot of boards which are um, not pornographic, but are just considered not safe for work for whatever reason, either due to theme or some other contrived bullshit. Uh, you will be prompt, you will be forced to download the app and log in to access that content. This is not the case on the desktop version of the site. So, um, one way to get around using the atrocious Reddit app is to, uh, an intrusive Reddit app is to use one of the 8 million different Reddit uh, third-party software applications, which just use the API to uh, use the site, and that allows you to bypass the Reddit app officially um, you know, very easily. Reddit is killing its API, effectively. They are making the API so expensive that it would be impossible for any third-party application to do what it does currently for free. And it's actually so expensive that it would be pretty much impossible for any third-party application to do what it does for a price. Meanwhile, the Reddit app will be free for everybody, except free in the sense that you're giving them your information in exchange for using the website. Um, so it is, it is basically impossible for any of those applications to... Um, to continue to exist. Uh, however, even more insidious than that, which is on its face pretty fucking nasty, um, it will break all moderation tools because automated systems that have been policing Reddit for free on behalf of the community without any involvement of the administration use the API to make moderation decisions. So, 
any sort of API based uh, work that would uh, involve um, the moderation tools will be broken because they can't afford it. And what's also particularly interesting is that even with the fee, uh, you will not be allowed to use Reddit at all. Uh, you will not be able to use the API at all for not safe for work boards. So this is what I believe is the, um, is the actual intention behind this is that Reddit has admitted in its investor meetings and its, uh, um, advertiser like pamphlets that pornography is the predominant use of Reddit. It is like more, I want to say more than 50% of their traffic is specifically for pornographic areas of the, uh, of the site. Not even, you know, just not safe for work, but porn pornography especially. So even with API, um, you will not be allowed to visit the pornographic areas of Reddit, uh, even if you're paying for it. And I th and what they say about this is that it is for the protection of women and uh content sorry content creators not women they don't give a fuck about women um and that might have something to do with revenge pornography laws because in 2022 they uh as part of the omnibus spending bill updated the uh violence against women's act which included a non-consensual pornography clause which comes down pretty hard on uh revenge pornography so i think that on their face, they're saying that this change is to make it so that nobody can scrape the not safe for work boards and archive those. And I'm not sure what the point is because like the men who browse that can still save those images. It's not like it goes away. I guess it just can't be automated. I guess like some people are just in this state of mind that they can put things up on the internet and then take it back down later when they regret it. And that, you know, it it will actually be permanently deleted. Um, I mean, it could be copyright. I mean, copyright is, is on his face, one thing. But um, yeah, there's there's other concerns. Like they've been operating for you know ten fucking years with its previous rules. What why is the copyright suddenly their concern? Uh, it's more about squeezing money out of people. And Louis. I don't know if his name is Lewis or Louis, but I'm going to say Louis. Louis Rossman, who I've been watching a couple of videos of recently. Um, probably my favorite person of melanated distinction at this point in time. Uh, pointing out that probably what they're trying to do is just to get people to stop using the API. It's a service that they begrudgingly offer, and they're just going to make the price such that nobody bothers to pay for it. And they just use the Reddit app. And... Uh, and that's probably true. Uh, so the subreddits, they have had a blackout, which is the typical Reddit Janny protest when whatever they're pissed off about, they start to lock their subs and leave a little pri uh, shitty little message saying, we're locking our subs because we're very angry about Reddit right now. Ooh, woo. Um, however, they plan to make it a two-day protest, which is not going to do anything because they know that those subreddits are going to come back in two days and so does everybody else. So it's like, you know, you don't have to do anything, just wait two days and they'll be fine. Um, and however, though, that it has not stopped Reddit from launching coup d'etats against the, the non-compliant subs, the largest subs on the site that are uh, in, currently in revolt. In particular, our advice animals, has had its top mods permissions removed by Reddit admins. Uh, their decision to join the blackout was reversed, and now the sub has reopened to the public. The wholesome mod team has protested this, actually, and so the rule that an inactive top moderator may not make the unilateral decision to close down a large active subreddit against the wishes of the active mod team is years old and first applied in 2018 against Kotaku in action. And then there's a link there. So they are um, they are filling the ranks with Spez loyalists and then claiming that the decision is against the wishes of the mod team 
and replacing the disloyal Jannies with the loyal Jannies who are willing to do what they do for free with allegiance to um with allegiance to Spez and the status quo. Which is pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> So in summary, I believe that they are disadvantaging their users uh, for the sake of squeezing more money out of pornography addicted people who make up the majority of their user base because they can sell more advertisements and get people off of third party uh, applications, which may be removing their ads or replacing them with their own ads. Uh, and everything else is just a, it's just a casualty of that. Then third, on my big platform update, YouTube is going after NVIDIA's, uh, which is a way of viewing YouTube videos outside of the YouTube ecosystem. YouTube has becoming increasingly a pain in the ass. Um, their advertisers are off the wall. I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to break Reddit to you or YouTube TOS the stream. And I'm going to delete it afterwards. Cause I, um, I'm not going to restrain myself when I say I keep get, seeing in archives. People asking, why is why is this archive channel running ads? I can't believe that they're going to monetize Josh's channel. I do not run ads. None of those archive channels run ads. And you should be using Adblocker. And that's against YouTube TOS to say. You always browse YouTube with an ad blocker. And I think that even with your TV and phone, you can get ad blocker with something called Pie Hole. I think that Pie Hole used to block the Kiwi Farms. Um, but with the Pie Hole DNS now, I think that you can get around that. But you should basically always be running ad blocker. And you should instead support people that you actually want to support directly, you know, with their Patreon or whatever the fuck they run or by buying merch. Um Advertising as a industry needs to fucking collapse. Advertising is one of the most disgusting things on this planet. It fills me with rage. And YouTube is going out of their way now to try and ban ad blockers, ban viewing videos outside of their ecosystem, uh, shake off any kind of third party application that's doing things that they don't want to. And they're running advertisements for uh, third party content creators. Um, like, if I run 30 seconds of a pop song on this here, here watch this, what, hold up any pop song, then the video gets ads are all the, are all the archives are monetized and you see ads and the money goes to the fucking rights management company. It doesn't even go to the singer. It, it gets monetized by like BIM or the other one, the two huge content creator or, uh, inter intellectual pro um, music industry rights holder organizations, it goes to them and then they take their cut and then the singer gets like a, a pittance from that. So always UMG always, 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 always run um, BMI and ASCAP. I don't know if that's the right one, but yeah, always run ad blocker constantly. Um, and hopefully NVIDIA says that they're not going to bail out and they're going to hand the code off to whoever they're going to want to do. And they're going to send their money to, uh, if, if their developers are gone after, they'll send their money to other developers and they'll continue the project and they'll move to get T if they have to from NVIDIA.io and they'll fight it to tooth and nail because fuck them, which is pretty base. However, YouTube has also been made big moves in like the last couple weeks against the daily wire. So despite how little Ben Shapiro's hat is, they're still going after the anti-trans people on their network. Um, the infringements that were cited against uh, Michael Knowles, Candace Owens, and Matt Walsh were not using pronouns. And Matt Walsh as a whole has been demonetized, which he says is going to cost him over $100,000 a month in revenue. Do uh, you have an idea of how much money he was making? So despite how optimistic things seem for the anti-trans shit at the moment because of how loud people are being against them, how this seems to be the, the pride month that broke the camel's back. I am not seeing nearly as many rainbow avatars as I used to. I'm really like the amount of uh, pride shit this month seems to be way, way lower than last year by like orders of magnitude. I think people are really fucking done with it. Um, 
but despite that, YouTube is still holding the line and hurting people where it hurts the most, which is by going after their pocketbooks. Um, and until the credit card companies, MasterCard, Visa Card, Discover, Amex are completely and totally destroyed and alternative avenues of sending and receiving money are set up, they will continue to do that because we have bottlenecked our entire economy be behind four of the most evil companies that have ever existed in the history of mankind. Um, so, but the fight's not over. That's my point. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofer. Remember to like and subscribe.